Hello, it's Icy, and I'm here with something slightly different today. Uh, today, in this awkward position, I'm going to show you how to make Turkish coffee. You will sometimes see me drinking Turkish coffee in the videos or streams. I tell people how to make Turkish coffee all the time. Uh, so I thought I would try and do a small video about how to make it. So excuse the awkward setup, because... <laughs> I'm still running this off the webcam on my laptop, which is propped up on top of the hot plates. Really safe. Um, to make Turkish coffee, you need a small saucepan. This is a very specific saucepan called a bariki. Uh, you'll see it's quite tall. The tallness is important. Um, if you have a little milk saucepan, uh, that would be fine as well. The idea is you want the water to evaporate slowly to get more coffee flavour. You need some sort of sugar. This is Demerara sugar because I love the uh, sort of warm caramel flavour. You need coffee. Now I have actual Turkish coffee here. Uh, Greek coffee, Lebanese coffee, uh, other Arabic coffees are all pretty much the same. They are a blend that is so fine it is a powder, like actual powder. I don't know if you can see that. It it's pretty much like flour. It's about the same consistency as flour. And you need one massively heaped teaspoon per person. See this? See how tall that is? It's like, oop. <laughs> it's like a tablespoon, roughly. Now, you can do this with normal coffee. Um, if you do it with normal coffee, you will need a little sieve of some sort at the end because the bigger grounds will sort of float. Um, so just keep that in mind. But it's perfectly like I used to make it with normal coffee all the time until I found somewhere where I could get Turkish coffee reliably. So, sugar, very important. Um, now, I would suggest that when you make this for the first time, that you add sugar. If you're somebody who drinks your coffee black and strong without sugar, sure, go for it. But first time, you should make it with sugar. Now, I use a teaspoon per person. You can make it sweeter. You can make it less sweet. Um, you do have to put the sugar in up front because it needs to dissolve with the boiling water um, as you're doing this. So the next thing is I like, this is entirely optional, cardamom. So a generous sprinkle of cardamom. Now I am making coffee a friend of the two cups um, because this pot is too wide at the top to make it for one cup. I'd need a really skinny pot because otherwise it evaporates too fast. So, uh, And I like vanilla in my coffee. So a big slug of vanilla. Now, those others are optional. You pretty much need the coffee and the water, sugar probably. So this is a Turkish tea cup. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that nice? Um, you need one. It's basically, it's pretty much an espresso size. It's slightly smaller than an espresso. And that's it. And you give it a stir. I don't know. Okay. Just to make sure it's all coated. And then you put it on to cook. Uh, on your hot plate. Gas in that case. Uh, and then you wait. So I will chop the video about here and come back in a few minutes. Chop. Okay, this is part way through the cooking process. You can see the coffee is mostly dissolved. It's starting to simmer. It's making the little bubbly noise of simmering. Now, you must watch the coffee the whole time. Don't walk away from it. It's not going to take very long. If you let it come to a rolling boil and then it keeps boiling, it will be bitter and terrible. I am now standing over the coffee because you can hear the noise starting to change. So the simmer is getting louder, which is a good indication it's about to go into a rolling boil shortly. I'm just looking carefully. A little bit more. What you're listening for 
is yeah, where the simmer sound, the small bubbles turn into a big bubble, and the top of surface of the coffee will change, which I'll point out to you shortly. Oh, here we go. I don't know if you can see that. You can hear the sound has changed. The top is starting to move. The top of the coffee starts to move. And it sort of lifts and turns over. That'll sound really odd. I'm not sure if you can see that in there. Oh, yeah, there we go. You can see those. And it's done. And that's it. Let me turn it off at that point. So, uh, the coffee has boiled. The top has boiled over, is what I say. Uh, you let it sit for a minute two minutes. Um, if you're going to let it sit for a long time, put like a saucepan or something, uh, <sighs> saucer <laughs> on top to keep the heat in. Um, if you like your coffee stronger, what you can do is you can sort of lift the saucepan up and down over the heat as it cooks just so it takes longer to boil and you get more coffee flavour coming through without the bitterness. Uh, and at that point, you just need to pour. So I have one of my Turkish coffee glasses, which I will wipe the water out of. That's a good idea. It's not sully the uh, coffee. Now, this is, you give it a tap as well to help the coffee ground settle. Um, I don't like to leave it sit for too long. Um, I actually like the very fine grounds through the coffee as you drink it. That's just me. Um, and so, let's see, can you see? That's, we'll just pour it in. There we go, look at that. You can see the crema on top? There we go. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Put that over there. Oh, it's very hot. So, a perfect. Little, oh, I don't want to spell it. A uh, cup of Turkish coffee. Uh, it's very similar to many other places in the region. Uh, and I love it. Mm. Oh, smooth. Caffeine hit. Uh, I will drink both of these cups of Turkish coffee. Uh, I'll probably be doing some sort of ESO stream this afternoon. And I'll be wired. Um, also, when you're drinking this, just leave the bottom half a centimeter or so because that will be pure cold grounds as you drink it. It'll settle out. I don't like that. It's not nice. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's how you make Turkish coffee. I hope you found that edifying. Uh, if you try it out, please let me know in the comments what you think because I'd be really interested to see how many other people I can convert. I've managed to convert quite a lot so far. Uh, but thanks for watching. Bye.